Hey guys, so today we are going over the autonomic nervous system. We don't we don't really go over much else in the nervous system. So um so this is going actually going to be the last video in the series, um the nervous system series. So anyway, let's begin. So first, let's talk about the autonomic nervous system. It's part of the peripheral nervous system and it controls involuntary things. So um so cardiac muscle, smooth muscle, glands, and it also monitors um, visceral organs and blood vessels and sensory neurons. Um, so then it, cons it also consists of two different parts, um, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems. And we'll see later on that these systems actually oppose each other. So let's talk about um, a little bit about each. So the pair, so the the sympathetic nervous system is more of a tense type of nervous system. It tenses you up, fight or flight, gives you a fight or fight, flight response. Um, it increases your heartbeat, your metabolic rate, um, and um, epinephrine and norepinephrine, norepinephrine, or adrenaline and noradrenaline, um, better known as that at least. And it dilates your blood vessels, so blood will flow, flow faster, um, so more blood will flow. And... Um, it decreases relaxed or tranquil functions. And then for that, there's um, the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the total opposite. Um, it's in charge of digestion and rest. Um, well, I already said it involves digestion, but uh, it al also involves urination and defecation. Um, it decreases your blood pressure and um, heart, heart rate and respiratory rate, and it's in charge of conserving energy as well. So um, in simpler words, it is an increase in relaxed or tranquil functions. So um, the easiest way to remember this is a sympathetic is de a decreased in um, decrease in relaxed functions and parasympathetic is an increase. Um, so <clears throat> now let's talk about pre and post ganglionic neurons. So in the a autonomic nervous system, there are two connections to the effector organ. So there's the preganglionic neuron, so the first neuron, and then the postganglionic neuron. So in the central nervous system, you see only one neuron connecting to the effect from the brain to the effector, the central nervous system to the effector organ. But here you have two different neurons. Um, so right now there's the so there's the preganglionic axon synapses with the postganglionic axon in an autonomic ganglion outside of the central nervous system. And um, the types of ganglia are paravertebral, and these are in things called, um, this, the paravertebral ganglion, or ganglia, are in the sympathetic trunk on your spine. There are two areas um, for the sympathetic nervous system, and um, the ganglion that are placed in there are, I don't know, the, the ganglia are placed in those trunks for the sympathetic nervous system. And then after that, other sympathetic nervous system ganglia are called um, prevertebral ganglia instead of paravertebral. And then after that, there's the terminal ganglia, which are for the parasympathetic nervous system. So here's a little picture just to, if you didn't understand what I said. So in the, um, in the, um, in the voluntary portion, the somatic nervous system, so there's one neuron connecting to the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system. Or not to the peripheral nervous system, to the target organ. So in this case, it's a skeletal muscle. But in the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, you'll see that there is, um, or there are two, um, two connections, two um, neurons that connect from the central nervous system to the target organ. So there are two neurons in charge of the efferent pathway. So um, in this case, there's the sympathetic, with the sympathetic nervous system, it goes from the central nervous system to a paravertebral ganglion, which is in the um, trunks for the sympathetic nervous system, sympathetic trunks or sympathetic chains, uh, or it could be in a pre, um, prevertebral ganglion outside of the sympathetic chains. And then after that, that neuron goes from that ganglion, um, then there's another neuron that goes from that ganglion to the rest of the, um, to a target organ. And then after that, there's the sympathetic nervous system, where it goes from one 
from the central nervous system to another ganglion, but in this case it's called a terminal ganglion because it's for the sympathetic nervous system. And then after that, um, it synapses with another neuron that goes to the effector organ. So let us talk about the sympathetic nervous system in more detail. So the cell bodies are in the lateral horns of the thoracic and first two lumbar se segments of the spinal cord. So think about your chest in a little bit below. Those are where your um, sympathetic nervous system cell bodies are. And they're in the lateral horns. And if you don't know what those are, you're probably going to have to check the last video. Um, then after that, there's the so the path of the preganglionic fibers goes from the from the lateral horns to the ventral roots to the white rami communicantes. Um, if you I didn't really talk about that much in the last segment, but the white rami communicantes is just a, basically a division of the nerve. Because um, remember that the nerve flows through the ventral roots or the dorsal roots, wherever. And then for that, it just divides into specific areas. And th this area is just the white rami communicantes. And then for that, it goes to the sympathetic trunk, where it may synapse, it might not. Because remember, there's the prevertebral ganglia. But um, it may synapse the first try. It may have to go through a few ganglia to um, synapse. But it'll go through the sympathetic trunk. And after that, it'll synapse with a postganglionic fiber, which will go to the gray rami communicantes, which, once again, is another um, segment. Um, it's a rami communicantes. And then after that, um, it goes back to the spinal nerve, where it finds the target organ, where it falls down to the target organ. Now let's talk a little more the, about the parasympathetic nervous system in depth. So there are the preganglionic neurons, and those orig originate in the gray matter of your sacral regions, specifically S2 and S4. And it also originates in the brainstem, so in cranial areas. So the preganglionic neurons follow the motor neurons to the effector. Where the, so the effector is actually where the terminal ganglia, um, ganglion will be in this case, unlike um, in... The sympathetic nervous system, where the ganglia is in the sympathetic trunk, um, in the parasympathetic nervous system, the terminal ganglion for your neuro for your preganglionic neuron is actually near the effector, near the effector organ. So um, here's a little picture of. Um, of the sympathetic divisions and the parasympathetic divisions in the peripheral nervous system. So, um, as you can see, um, these have like where they go and all of that. And um, I won't really explain this much in depth. I, I'll just let send a link to this below. You can just take a look at this picture. And we're done with this episode, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.